Welcome back, everyone, here to make her delicious classic roast beef, perfect for any holiday celebration. Please welcome back New York Times bestselling cookbook author and our very good friend, Melissa D. Arabian. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. You. Yes, we're very excited. We're so glad to be back. We're so happy to have you. We have a, a new guest that you've never cooked for before, Paul Campbell, Hallmark star. Yes. 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 And just a little bit about his new movie, and also how you played a huge part in Cameron's career. So it's I a think big it's deal. Safe to say yeah. that. It's very safe, safe to say. Yeah, it's safe to say. But first, very we're going to feed you, Paul. I was just going to say, we'll play a huge part in feeding you today. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Paige, can Food you guys career. dig in? Okay. So, Melissa, I know this is one of your very favorite mm -hmm. dishes to mm -hmm. make for the holidays. Why? Well, because here's the thing. We have a tendency to think we have to overspend at the holidays, and we don't. You can get those inexpensive cuts of meat and turn them into a gorgeous roast if you just follow a few of my tips. Okay, we're ready to follow. Okay, I'm going to turn this down, down a little bit. I know, it's like, that's yeah. going a little wild. That's all right. So it starts with preparing our roast. What yes. do we do first? Okay, so we are using a top round roast. Okay. Top round and bottom round roast are inexpensive cuts, but that people shy away from because they can get tough. Yes. So, first things first, we're going to add a little bit of flavor by putting in some garlic into little pockets oh. that we're going to, to make little holes yeah just huh. go right on in into the into the roast and you can do it kind of all over okay, okay? we make sure we it's completely dry before you yes we sear it too yes right? we're okay. gonna yeah we'll pat it with um, actually we did it looks nice and dry okay. um, with uh, paper towels is okay. usually the best move okay but are those whole clothes or sliced these are those slices of clothes look see look la 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 nice and thin so they fit into mm. um, if they were into small the if they were small you could use whole clothes okay. that would be fine just sort of weasel them in so then after we then do that the next tip and this is maybe the most important tip of all oh. is to let the roast sit at room temperature for an hour before you roast an it. An hour, okay. An hour before you roast it. That's going to help the inside cook um, without the outside getting all oh, right. dried out. Go right from the fridge oh, onto the stove. Yeah, have yeah, it no, evenly. yeah, that way it Otherwise, cooks a little bit more, a little bit more evenly, and then yeah. you don't get that tough outer part of the roast. I would and suggest I if, if you have uh, dogs and cats. <laughs> watch oh, I've lost a steak or two to dogs. You know, we I just got a puppy, now. and I think that that's actually really good advice. <laughs> our older dog wouldn't do it, but our younger one would. Okay, so I'm rubbing. Generous with salt and pepper. I'm putting lots of salt and pepper because you want to have that salt and pepper crust, oh, right? Yes, exactly. Isn't that That's where all that taste so is? So we've got garlic going, we've got, um, we've got salt and pepper going, and then this sits here for an hour, and you want to make sure at the end of the hour, give it a little pot with a paper towel if you have any liquids that's Okay, from. and okay. then we place it, and are you go over there, well, wash your yes. hands, go wash your hands. This would then get thrown into here, which Like it is doing did. right yes. now. Yes, I'll wash and hands. Wash hands, and I'll explain. So over here, then we, we brown it, we sear it on, on each side for just a few minutes. Yeah, just a, yeah, like yeah, two or three minutes aside. You really just get it going like that. You want to get a nice crust going, and you really want it to be a piping hot pan as well, correct? Yeah, because you want to have that nice crust happening quickly. Do you now, put oil in the pan, or is it yeah, just the own? There's, no, there's just a little bit of oil. Okay. You know, a tablespoon or two of, of a neutral oil. You know, a vegetable oil or a um, you know, or, or even an olive oil you could use. You can plop it out Move here it. if you want. Okay, mm -hmm. so then we put yes. it over here. So this is our first layer of crust, and you're going to see in a minute. I have a tip for a second layer of crust. Yeah. Yes. So that you get a lot of flavor from an inexpensive cut of meat. All right, in this pan, there's lots of flavor, and we don't want to waste it. So we will deglaze the pan with a little bit of water. Just and be all those delicious bits from That's the right. pot roast. That's exactly right. Oh, well, so yeah, good. it's a top top roast. Top round Excuse roast. Me. But yeah. You keep talking about getting flavor into this, and man, have you ever? I mean, mm -hmm. this is just absolutely so packed with flavor. Yes. It's also yeah. tender. It's not and it's it tender. Is. Yeah, this yeah. is the way to make it tender. Like this, well, and the be, sitting out for an hour helps it get really tender. Tender. And then the other trick to making it tender is really low temperature on your oven, like 250, 275. Low oh, and wow. slow. Yeah, lower than you think. So we're gonna take this flavor, and you wanna pour that. We can just we pour that. The, no, the can pour right in, you can pour right just in. Right in. It. Yep, right on in. Oh my goodness. Okay. And we're gonna add this flavor into wild, our pan. <laughs> there we is go. That red wine? That's red wine. Oh, geez. And then a little That's bit of red wine. wine. <laughs> so not on top. It's just going into the pan. You can just put it right on into the pan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna. What this this is actually going to make your flavorful, um, not quite a gravy, but it's going to make all those juices. Wow. Also, it's going to keep the fat that drips off here as it bakes, as it roasts. It's going to keep those drippings from burning. Okay, okay so, so you need to have some liquid in there. So then yeah. we put this in the oven, Melissa. Yes. Okay, no. Here we go. Then we go. 
that no. whoa. Whoops. Put this in at 250, like you said, for yep. an hour, an hour. About an and hour, half. hour and a half. 250. That's interesting. Yeah, it's, it's really, really low. low. Yeah, 252, 75. Then. When the roast oh, is done, I, I sent something. I know big something big is coming. Something big is coming. Yeah. Something big is coming. All right, friends. <laughs> When, you, when the roast hits yep. about 120 on the inside, which is rare for a roast, but there's mm -hmm. there's more to come, you're gonna pull that roast out for a few minutes and crank up the heat to like 475 or 500, uh -huh. and then get that roast that back the in there. Is that the second crust? That's the second crust. That's, that's almost wow. about. To be honest, yeah. That's almost the third crust. Mm. Yeah, because we've done it there, then we've done it in, then we've done it. it I'm telling you, this these are the ways to make it's a working. really tender roast. But you guys, listen, top round roast, bottom round roast, those are roasts that cost like four and five and six dollars mm -hmm. a pound you get a fillet really? it's like 20 25 dollars yeah. I mean, that's a, pound. a massive yeah. difference so, so curious like how long roughly does that take is this like a whole day thing at two at two no it's, no it's about an hour and a half yeah. oh that's it yeah oh, that's about an hour and a half it's funny because okay. when you said yeah. the temperature i thought it was going to be a lot longer than that right. no too, just an hour and a half yeah so now we slice it which okay is, you have a good tip for last slicing, last tip i want to show you is you want to look at the meat and find the grain and then you want to cut against it so in this case the grain is kind of going up and down look at that oh that's so beautiful. Beautiful. That's a single serving. So what you want to do. <laughs> so I hope you're hungry, Debbie. There we go. That's for you. That's for Debbie. <laughs> You've also got some great tips for rescuing a roast. Yes. You kind of over, well, it's. You okay. it, if yes. you overcook it, has anybody ever cook, overcooked a roast? Because yeah. like, what do you do oh, that? A little right? rubbery. It like a shoe. Right. And you're in big trouble. No, it doesn't. Yeah. No, it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank goodness for you. Your best friend is a nice thin slice. Get an electric knife if you have it, and slice really thin, and then top it with some broth, hopefully from the bottom of your pan. Right. But if not, honestly, anytime you're doing a roast. Buy some bouillon or broth mm -hmm. to keep on hand and just pour a little bit on top. Look Not at all gravy, that juice. Look how juicy it is. Yeah. <laughs> pour that on top. Thin slices and broth. And if your roast is really like overdone, not overdone, toss it in a slow cooker and eat it the next day. What? Slow cooker with a little that barbecue sauce, a little onion, and turn it into pulled. Oh, and it, yeah, beef sandwich. Oh, and yeah. Gosh, wow. Wow. Yeah. But then, but then you're ordering okay. pizza that night. You know, yeah. no, no, no shame no, no, there, no, my friend. No, no shame there. I know Polly was eyeing this because this is what Melissa does with her leftovers. Mm. So you wanted to take it back on the plane yeah. with you. I do, after, yeah. So you know what? There you go. That is right. You enjoy Thank that, you. Paul. We'll wow. be chatting with you. I want this finished by the time we sit down and talk to you and interview. All right. Thank you, Melissa. Head over to Hallmark. Channel.com, and you can connect with Melissa on her website as well.